Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? You like my hat? I was just at the VA hospital for my yearly checkup, and everything's all right. I bought this at the, uh, the Patriot store. This was, said the retail on this was 15 bucks, but they uh, I got for 10 A little army cigarette there, because I was in the army for four years. Let's see what it looks like on. on. Really cool. Now, I was going to do a video... Uh, there was a video earlier today that kind of upset me, saying, like, not trusting your subs, and, like, their, uh, online relationships are internal hallucination, all this other BS. It got deleted, not even Belgab made a copy of it, so I can't really comment on it. I can't remember, I'd have to watch it again. I had to leave, I didn't see the whole thing, I had to leave, uh, for my appointment. Well, anyways, this is a really cool hat, and a lot of people, you know, I have to be a... Two people caught me on this dragon shirt that my sister got for me in uh, Salem. When she visited Salem. And uh, like I said, all uh, everything at the checkup went well. And then, you know, I went and got something to eat. And I got stuff for the means test, which is uh, which is an annual thing for eligibility in the VA. You know, I picked up for it for that. I can fill that out later on. It's not due to, like, the October well, it means date anniversary comes to happen, so I got plenty of time to worry about that. Uh, anyways, uh, I was talking to DAV, and he was listening to, like, disco music and stuff like that, and they played, uh, they played a song I didn't hear, I haven't heard in a long time, called Dance, 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 or it might have been said Dance, I can't remember how many times they say Dance in the title, but the title of the song, and the one part, I haven't heard it in ages since I was little. And the one part that cracked me up as a kid still cracked me up now because they're saying, and all of a sudden a guy goes, yowza, yowza, yowza. So that was funny. No, I want to talk about something sad that uh, end of a tradition, uh, tradition from Fiddle on the Roof um, at the VA. Because every so long they have stuff there that, uh, you know, some people volunteer. They used to have tops. This was ages ago. Uh, in the late 90s, early 2000s, they used to have. Uh, Tops, they used to have donuts there for some of the soldiers. And, you know, you pay over 20 and they give you a free donut and you have free donut coffee. I remember when I had shingles there and I got a free donut coffee. I was able to keep it down. Because usually that's about it. When I, had, I was so sick, either a donut or coffee or a piece of toasted coffee, that's all I could keep down all for one day. I was able to pretty much keep that down. And that's it. Anything else for the rest of the day, forget it. I'd be throwing up. Well, anyways... Uh, one of the things that always happened there, I remember when I used to go there with my nephew, because the preferred day to go to the VA, in my opinion, is Friday. That's the day I usually have off. And there's usually, you know, in the one big lobby they spent $3 million for, there was a guy giving out popcorn, little bags of popcorn, and a girl next to him that was giving out free things of coffee. And if I had blood work done, you know, I'd wait till after the blood work was done, I'd get a free thing of popcorn and coffee. And, I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but, you know, for events and stuff like that, it was really cool that they did that for us. And, I mean, they did it for everyone, too. My nephew loved it. And last time I went there, uh, well, no, last Tuesday. I mean, no, last Two weeks ago to get lab work done. They weren't there. I thought, well, maybe they were. Maybe they uh, had something else to do. I couldn't remember. I asked the guy for DEV. He said, no, nope, they're not doing uh, popcorn and coffee anymore. And um, he said that the one guy DEV, uh, some people were saying, like, did they just quit or something like that. I think what this guy told me was the, the truth. They said that the, uh, the guy that was doing popcorn got into a, a scuff, uh, confrontation with another vet and I think there was some punches thrown or something like that cops had to be called and he was banned from banned from the place so that was it for the popcorn and I guess the lady who was doing the coffee uh, found a full time job and she wasn't doing it anymore I, I I think they said they have the the means I mean the stuff for them to do it but they couldn't find anyone else to do it on Fridays so I mean that's pretty sad you know um, you know, you look forward to something. It's just the, the little things that what helps, you know. You know, the vet and stuff like that, you know, it's a little thank you and stuff. Thanks for serving and stuff. But, I mean, they gave it for all the 
everyone there, all the workers and stuff. And Jerry, the one guy at the front desk, and Jerry is awesome. You guys like this hat? I think it's really cool. But, I mean, it, it's just kind of sad. And I, I, everyone I talked to, I asked the guy this morning before I went to the doctors. And, you know, he said, and I talked to a bunch of people, and he said they're all bummed out about it. You know, it's just it's just a little thing. It's just I think it was just there on Friday, though. But it was really good popcorn, though. Some, and they said they used to have crowd, big crowds waiting to get their pop, free popcorn and coffee. You know, we earned it. You know, we served our country. And it was a good service for that guy to provide to all the other men and women who worked there, too. And the doctors and nurses and everyone, all the great people. I love the VA. I know uh, one guy says that, you know, I said, you go to VA. I said, I don't trust the VA. I trust the VA. I Well, the one in Erie is a very good VA. I never went to any other ones. I remember there was, uh, the only thing that was messed up, I remember Fort Detrick, Maryland. There was a one doctor they had there, like one guy's friend said he was a quack. Dr. McCorkle, where I think his name was. I could be I could be wrong. And he was working there. He got sent from this one hospital. Cause I guess the guy was supposed to have his leg, uh, his foot amputating and amputated the wrong one. And so he got sent to the take care of us. That guy was nuts. But I think that's, I think that's about it. Um, I did uh, I did a couple food. I did a food review from there from the Patriot Cafe after I ate. I mean, like I said, I made sure to do a means tell you. I probably put the Patriot Cafe video up tonight. Well, I did two of them. And I um, hope you like this. Just sad news about the about the VA. But my, uh, my uh, whole yearly checkup was fine. It went by fine, so that was good. So I hope you liked this video, everybody. Until next time, please, Kimberly. Love this hat.